Hey, good morning, or good evening. So, Sunday here, 2 o'clock, technically 3 o'clock, but it really feels like 2 o'clock. Haven't got much sleep, but I'm uh, getting ready to walk out and start the fire, so... I'm going to just kind of let the words on the screen or on the voiceover do the talking because I'm pretty tired. And then I'm going to let this fire get started and then I'm going to start tending to it all night long. Putting the love into the cooking. I hear the love in my voice. Finally have fire. I'm just starting up a little bit of charcoal here. Newspaper, charcoal, and that's going to start the rest of the fire. Now we're going to wait. My apologies, as you can see the uh, grill is already started. I wanted to show you more but I ran into a little problem trying to find that guy. So that's my uh, thermometer and, sorry, finger in the way. That's my thermometer and you don't want to cook brisket without knowing the temperature of your fire and everything else. So that probe comes into the grill right there. Up on top we got our pork shoulder, uh, the two smaller briskets, full size brisket. Fire starts in the back and works its way around. Um, these smaller ones I kept more protected. Kind of worried uh, this is not the normal setup. Because I'm doing the double layers so I guess we'll see how it goes today so this is uh, like 425 in the morning uh, finally some smoke is starting which is good mainly because I was worried about there being heat so we're gonna tap that top button that all up there we go so now we're good there this guy always has to be really closed, but I'm going to leave it open now as we wait for the temperatures to climb. So, see already, 34, yes, 34 degrees, and I'm out here grilling. So we got, oh, uh, look at that zoo cup. I don't know if I can make it move. So uh, there's uh, some water, a pan of water underneath, uh, which again just holds temperature, some moisture, things like that. So here we go, smoking up. And that's what we want. Should be a good birthday birthday dinner for my dad, who doesn't love smoked meat. While I was searching for an hour for that thermometer, most of my fire went out, which is why I was, there were some issues. But basically, I just start hardwood lump charcoal. That's the bag that's left. And uh, put that in a chimney, light that up, and... Let that all get warm, and I put a small bit of that with a bunch more charcoal, and then we just control the burn by closing off those vents like you just saw. So very, very little uh, oxygen and stuff gets there. We're at 46 on the meter. 40, 50? 50 on the meter. So we're at 50. It will keep climbing up pretty quickly, and I will 
quickly, quickly shut this one down. It's probably to like right there. So I mean, it doesn't even look like it's open, but that's enough to keep it at like 250 normally. So I will keep shutting it down. Um, I'm actually going to shoot for 225 for the whole smoke. Um, and I'm going to go at least 8 hours, which would put us only until 12.30. We're planning to eat at 3. Um, but I got a couple of big chunks of meat on there. So we'll see how it goes. I'd much rather be done early so that we can eat at 3 than uh, be late and be sitting around hoping that it looks good. So we'll get into more details later once I actually start checking to see if it's done. But it, from now until noon, it's just going to be keeping this guy around 225 if possible. All right, so we're back checking on the grill again. Doesn't like this dark weather out here. So you can see 142 smoking away. Uh, we want that temperature to come up, but I'm not going to adjust it right now. I'm going to give it uh, another like 10 20 minutes and see where it's at and uh, check back. And if it's still going up, then we're still good. If it ever starts falling, then we're in trouble. So there we go. All right. I know it looks the same, but we're back again 20 more minutes later. We are up to 198, 199. So now it's time to start just dialing it in. I'm going to pull it back to there. We're going to check it again in like probably 20 more minutes since I just dialed it back. And the goal now is to get it to that 225 and then just stop. So it's just another waiting game. And once I get it to 225 and it stays for a bit, I'm going to go take a nap because I think I've gotten about two hours of sleep. And I've got a pickle monster on my hands because I woke her up in the middle of the night to find that probe. So life is good. Barbecue smelling good. I'm going to be smelling like smoke here. And at some point i got to run. But I might have to uh, delay that and get a little bit of sleep before then. So uh, here we go. Over and out. 5.35, we're back, same view. I just tapped down the top because we're at 226. And this side is pretty much closed. Just a little bit of air coming in. And now we check it like every five minutes. I'm not gonna video anymore. Uh, I'm gonna check it every five minutes or so. And once that settles for sure right around this point, I can take my nap and life is good. As you can see, slightly different view now. This is after two cat naps. Light's still on. Two cat naps, about an hour each. Second time I've had to check on it um, after an extended time. Holding at 217, which is good. Still smoking, smelling good. You notice I still have not opened the top of it. The other thing to notice, if you look at the grill, the grill tells me that it's uh, under 200. So anytime you're cooking on a grill, a lot of times their thermometers are way, way off. So uh, I have this remote one that I use. 217 at the cooking area, so that's right behind where the uh, pork shoulder is. 217 at the cooking area, and I'm happy with that. Again, not 225, uh, but it's really hard to keep it at an exact number. This is not an oven with a thermostat, but I'm going to tap this open just a little bit. Sorry, this lower one. Because I'm about to go running, and I'm assuming that it has been dropping slowly since when I left it. It was around that uh, 225 mark. Uh, here's the setup you can see in the light now. Uh, this is just an old smoker that doesn't work very good, um, but it works great for lighting charcoal. That was my second batch that I started because I was worried I didn't have enough to get it going. But a little bit of blowing, and it worked out. All right, that's it. Gonna go uh, change clothes and get ready to go running and 
maybe I will check it, actually check it, like inside, look at the meat uh, when we come back from running. Maybe. Only because I think that small piece might be getting closer to done. So, we'll see. So, we're back again. Not dark out. Had a nice long run today. Smoker's going. I will show you that I did let it creep up a little bit. Some of that was on purpose. Some of that was not. Uh, I was going to let it get to about 250. And uh, you will see here the final item. So I've got some foil. We're going to wrap it in foil. And then I'm going to take it inside and let it rest. We're going to be eating... Probably like 45, well I'll probably start pulling it in like 45 minutes. I know a lot of people leave it for an hour to two hours, but I'm hungry. So that's how long it's going to last. I, I do have this little uh, probe thermometer that we will use. This is not the super fancy, super fast one, uh, but it gets the job done. So first let's show you what it looks like. Nice bark. go yes so you guys should be able to see you can see here pork shoulder could probably stay on a little longer got some areas that are real nice so I'll probably leave that on a little longer but this brisket is really good especially these smaller pieces here so temperature wise I checked them earlier and they were pretty good uh, but we'll see where they're at now that flat one looks like it can maybe go just a little longer One seventy five, one seventy six. Most people let it go up to like one ninety, which really breaks down the fat. That one's cooler. This little chunk. That one's good. See, that one shows that it's good, so that one should give you some good texture, I think. Um, I think I'm just going to leave that one on. So we will wrap this up in foil real quick. Alright, so here is the final piece of meat. We're going to cut into it and see what it looks like. I'll take it. Pickle said, mmm, tasty morsel in the background if you didn't hear that. All right, so there you go. That is the brisket. Looks pretty good consistency. It's still hot, springy, if that's what you want. So I'm going to call this a win for the day, and I'm going to finish cutting this up so I can eat it.